Welcome back guys, Tyler Seacrest here. This week we've got something special for you. I'm gonna take you through a house tour to one of my newest listings in the coveted Eagle Rock subdivision. Welcome to the weekly tea. Look, I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea and I'm cool with that. All right guys, so here, um, we just walked into the front door in the main foyer area. We've got a beautiful chandelier directly over my head. This house is five bedrooms, four and a half bath on a pond lot on a walkout basement. As we go through each room, I'll talk to you guys about what makes this house so special. This was, this is almost brand spanking new. Magos built home, so you know the quality is top notch. And there is so much attention to detail, guys, in this house, from the wainscoting, from the stonework, the multiple fireplaces. We've got a, a fireplace in the family room. We've got a, a fireplace in the basement. We've got a full kitchenette uh, bar in the basement. <clears throat> Masters on the main. We've got custom cabinetry in the kitchen, all quartz tops throughout. I think there's a few tops that are laminate, like in the basement and maybe some bedrooms, but all hard surface stuff, really high-end stuff. Uh, but as you walk in from the front door, a really nice cased out opening the front door is right behind me here but my clients have this set up as an office it's a great office space could be a formal dining nook because it's directly off the kitchen tasteful tasteful lighting fixture here we've got a beautiful custom modern barn door so to speak it's very sleek i love the stain it, it, it's very it matches the decor of the entire house you've got these beautiful windows here that overlook the front porch by now We'll flash some exterior photos or some, some drone footage so you guys can see the exterior. I can't talk to you guys enough about how awesome this lot is. Right when you walk in the front door and we'll get in there, the great room has floor to ceiling windows and the view is just spectacular. Um, but we'll show you through the drone so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, as you, let's follow me this way. We'll come back out into the main foyer area. And as you walk in, like I said, notice all the wainscoting, the beautiful millwork. You've got this grand family room, this grand living space, beautiful light fixture in the middle of the area. We've got a beautiful stair system, all exposed, no half wall. Very tasteful and chic carpet that kind of ties everything, ties everything in. So it's a very neutral color palette, a lot of earth tones, lots of windows. But yeah, this is the great room. And like I said, if you look to the right, you've got floor to ceiling, stonework to the ceiling, beautiful wood mantle, and then you've got some custom built-ins on each side, nice cabinetry, it's very cool. You got a beautiful big flat screen hung, and like I said, this view of the pond is, I mean, it's just spectacular. But as you turn around, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire house, is this main living space. It's just, it's so tastefully done. You've got this bean here that's wrapped in some some wood just to give it some more detail you've got the beautiful light fixtures and a real formal dining space in the great room so you could have a formal setup and you in the space over here that they're using as an office you could maintain this space here it's very spacious and then you've got the the kitchen and as you come into the kitchen, notice how much cabinetry we have here. We, we've got very artsy decorative tile. Uh, we've got some floating shelves here, quartz, hard surface tops. We've got amazing, these feel like Amtec. Um, these may not be Amtec. Very nice high-end hardware. And then we've got this oversized kitchen island. Looks like you could sit about three people. You've got the pantry uh, to the right here. We've got the microwave built in. This is a frigid air professional grade microwave that's built in. It's got a beautiful trim kit, so it's nice, neat, and clean. Looks like the trash can is built in to the island as well. Professional series range and hood. The hood insert is wrapped into uh, the cabinetry. And it all ties in. I love the decorative millwork, the crown molding on top of the cabinets. It's kind of tiered. Very, very, very nice. But again, quartz tops. We've got this beautiful artsy, this is tile. And then if you look over here, we've got this undermount stainless steel sink, some beautiful bay windows, tasteful light fixture, 
and it overlooks your beautiful deck off the main space, Trex decking by the way, um, and then the amazing view to the pond. We'll check out, you know what, let's just pop out here right now since we're right here. If you guys come outside with me, you've got a rear covered porch off the main living space. Like I said, this is a walkout basement, so there's a second um, entertaining space downstairs, but a portion of your deck is covered. So you get a nice covered space here, and then you've got a nice large uncovered space here, and then there's a beautiful stair system that kind of goes down. This is aluminum railing, so this is very expensive, very high-end stuff, guys. I can't explain to you how expensive this Trex decking system is and this railway, but I'm pretty sure this Trex has a lifetime warranty on it. It's a, it's a very beautiful composite that it's kind of textured and they've done a great job choosing the color to tie it in with the entire house this house is very it's very tastefully done but um yeah you come out here sip your morning coffee answer some emails if you work from home just a really cool space to entertain definitely makes this house a hot commodity the other thing that the seller mentioned to me these lots back here, they're a state size lot. So these are very, very large lots. These aren't your little 10,000 square foot lots, right? He's actually got this backyard prepped for a in-ground pool. So there is room here if somebody were to do, you know, an in-ground pool, um, you can have that done right in this area here. But um, this lot is at the end of a cul-de-sac, so it's pie shaped. So this, at what you see here, all this green, because we've got a new house being built to the west, this is your entire backyard. It's very level, they did a great job excavating it. It kind of slopes down at the end of the pond, but um, you've got a huge side lot over here. Um, it's very, very, very nice. So as we walk back through these Anderson sliding patio doors, we'll come back into the main living space. See, these are the details that I'm talking about, guys, that I love. Notice the contrast. We've got two-tone cabinets in the kitchen. The island has this like slate brown finish, and then it's the white lowers and the white uppers. And then I love how they tied that same color into the hood. It's very, it's very well done. It's very tasteful. I love this light fixture over the island. But as you come to this side of the house, we've got a half bath for guests. And then we've got a beautiful locker system off the laundry room and then access to the garage. So we've got a half bath here. And then the locker system, we're not gonna go to the laundry room because they've got a ton of stuff in there. There are, there's extra cabinetry in there. There's a, a sink in there. So the utility is, is very nice in there. This is the garage door. We'll show you in the, um, the exterior drone footage. It's a true four car garage. Um, one side load, one is front facing, um, very spacious. They're probably, they're oversized two car bays on each side. So if, if you like toys or if you have kids that have, you know, vehicles, you've got plenty of room for your vehicles in this house. To finish off the main living space, we'll come check out the master. Like I said, the master is on the main and it's tucked, tucked away on the east side of the house. You've got a beautiful, as my client would say, fandelier. Very rustic, very elegant. I love the little pearls. Um, believe it or not, there's a little fan in there. She calls it a fandelier. That's a first, but it's actually really nice. It goes really well in the space. There's a beautiful, um, looks like we've got an all black shiplap wall. That looks like it's tricorn black by Sherwin-Williams. Add some texture to the room, add some, some mood. Nine foot ceilings as well. And then we've got a pocket door and the master en suite. So the master en suite is fantastic. We've got dual vanity with quartz tops. We've got a floating tub. We've got some beautiful accenting shiplap throughout the tub with a nice transom window, allowing plenty of natural daylight. We've got incredible rustic fixtures that you'll see throughout the entire house. There's a chandelier in the middle of the bathroom. You've got the two fixtures above each um, vanity. And then you have a nice closet for your towels and things of that nature. And then you have a very upgraded walk-in shower. There's no door, it's, it's very spacious. You walk in, floor to ceiling tile. I believe this has the body soaker attached to it as well. It's very, very nice. And again, pocket doors throughout. So there's a pocket door to get a pocket door to, to gain access to the bathroom and then your stool 
also has a pocket room in its own room. And that same tile that you saw on the backsplash in the kitchen is actually on the floor in the master suite. So it's very well done. The color scheme goes well. It's very masculine, but yet feminine at the same time. Um, it's very well done. And then you have a true walk-in closet um, in the master suite with a very tasteful um, closet organization system. This melamine shelving, it's very custom, very high-end. It looks like we've got some extra stuff down here as well. Two, uh, two windows to allow that natural daylight. And again, look at these chandeliers in each space. There's so much attention to detail in this house that you're not gonna find at this price point to go build. So as we, let's come upstairs as we continue this tour. This house is huge. We've got one, two, three bedrooms upstairs, two bathrooms, and then we've got an extra kind of bonus room um, slash loft with some built-in um, shelving or, you know, like storage cubbies. But as you come up the staircase, you've got two bedrooms on the, this would be the west side of the house with a Jack and Jill um, bathroom set up. So as you come this way, nice closet for storage. Notice how all the interior doors are painted. There's just so much detail in this house. Nice craftsman interior door, very spacious bedroom. And like I said, this is a Jack and Jill type setup on this side of the house upstairs. You've got this bedroom's vanity, quartz tops with a four inch backsplash right here. And then that tile again is carried upstairs. And then you've got the stool and the shower in its own space. And then you have a pocket door to maximize the space for the vanity that also has quartz tops for this other bedroom. So as you come into this, this is their oldest son's room. Just around the mess, we a teenager. But uh, as you come this way, is where you'll find the bonus room. Very, there's an upgraded pad under the carpet here, you can tell, it's a very nice carpet. We've got some floor plugs here, so we've got one, We've got two, if you need power, if you wanna decorate your stair system, maybe you wanna put a Christmas tree up here or something. Very nice to have, that's an upgrade. And then this is that little reading nook slash bonus area that I was talking to you guys about. Very functional space, you could use it for a ton of different things. Um, I love the extra detail of these, this bench here for storage abilities on each side. Three beautiful windows looking over the front porch, the front of the house. And then as you come this way, you've got a very large bedroom. This is probably my favorite bedroom upstairs. It's very large, it's got its own ensuite, and it's got a beautiful trim detail wall behind the bedroom. So as you walk in, you've got the bathroom to the right, which we'll look at in a moment. And then the rest of the room is here. And then again, just more detail. You've got beautiful millwork, nice, Nice way to break up the monotony, just add some character to the house. It's the same color as the base trim, looks very nice. We've got a lot of rounded drywall corners throughout the house. That's also an upgraded premium finish. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's not square like normal. It's got a nice rounded finish. And then here is the bathroom. Again, you've got hard surface tops. You've got that artsy flooring as well. And then you've got your own shower. So this third bedroom upstairs has its own ensuite and its own room, which is nice. So if you guys follow me, let's go check out the basement. Here's some extra detail. Nice little shelf with a light fixture. I don't know if you guys have like trophies or if you just kind of want some art or maybe a pot or something, I don't know, just something a little extra. Again, and these are rounded drywall corners, so there's nothing basic or standard about this house. It's very high end, it's very, very nice. So again, as you come down from the basement under the landing, I love this basement for a ton of different reasons. Um, the first one, obviously it's a, it's a walkout, so you've got, a, you've got tons of daylight. A second area to entertain, which we will get out there and we will show you guys. Um, beautiful chandelier again. And same setup, you guys turn around and you look at what I'm looking at. 
We've got a second fireplace in the house, beautiful stonework from the floor to ceiling. We've got a nice wood mantle, and then we've got the awesome custom cabinetry with the built-ins on each side. It's very, very, very nice. Hard surface floors. We've got your mechanical room to the left. You've got your Anderson patio slider to get to that entertaining space, which we'll check out in a moment. You've got your full kitchenette with a nice stainless steel bar sink. You've got a little nook over here. Um, card games, just no space to entertain. You've got a fridge here. Some nice shelves. Showcase your alcohol. Have a good time. These are the laminate tops I was telling you guys about earlier. I love these. You can't, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it's got a, it's got like a leathered finish. So there's no shine to it. It's got a matte finish. It's leathered, it's got some texture to it. It's very earthly. I think the, just throughout this entire house, I'm seeing a lot of neutrals, a lot of rustic, and I, I love, I love earth palette. Earth tones, earth palettes. But anyways, as you come out to the patio off the walkout basement, you've got some awesome stonework over here with a built-in grill, overlooking the incredible view of the pond. Very tall ceilings. I would say these are nine, 10 foot ceilings. Looks like we've got power out here for these lights and a nice little ceiling fan. It's mounted. And then here is that elegant staircase that can take you up to the main front porch. I'm not sure if you guys can come over here. This house is pre-wired and does have a Generac generator. That is negotiable. It's not included in the sale, but with a full price offer, um, we could talk about it. But as you re-enter the home, shut this door. <clears throat> as you re-enter the home, go to the back side of the basement. Here's the other favorite part of the house for me. And I think you guys may understand why, but we've got a gym. We've got a little gym facility. He's got hard surface tops throughout. He's got some equipment in here to be dangerous. Uh, the seller, sellers are very fit. Um, health and wellness are very important to them. Um, very nice space. So, got that. We have another full bath. <clears throat> another full bath off the basement for guests. And there's also an additional bedroom. Don't mind the boxes. They're currently in the process of moving but we have another bedroom down in the basement with a pocket door. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's a pocket door for dual access to this bathroom. So, good space for a guest suite or if you have a, an older child or maybe a student um, you know, in college, they just kind of want their own space away from the rest of the family. Um, it's great, so you've got hard surface tops as well in here, and then you've got the fiberglass um, shower inlay, tub and shower. So yeah. So there's so much detail in this house, I'm kind of forgetting. We've got some under cabinet lighting. Can't forget that. But like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I love doing house tours, especially with nicer higher end homes like this. There's just so much detail. You can get inspiration if you ever decide to build with us or if you just see something that you wanna you know, remodel your current home. It's always cool to come in newer homes to, to just look at and appreciate you know, all the custom millwork and all the hand selected light fixtures and you know, the color choices. Uh, this house is beautiful. So. If you want more information regarding to purchase the house, I'll make sure I've got the listing in the description. Like always, if you guys have made it this far in the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.